Thank you, Doc. <laughs> the next rider, she is a regular as well. She's been here before on stage at Red Light Lead. She occupies Auckland. She writes of a kind of culture, childhood in Vermont, and her ongoing adolescence in the San Francisco Bay Area. She studied creative writing at Berkeley City College and reads often around the Bay Area. She has been published in Slipstream, Sparkle and Day, Alvaro, and Radio. A full-length book of poetry called Wet Reckless will be released from Manic Deep Press in the spring, very soon. Please welcome Cassandra Dalek. Waking on empty. First pouring coffee like gasoline. Second search messages for validation. A robin out back gets a worm in the patchy grass. Must be the early bird. While I squint through eyes ringed black with mascara and a shitload of ads in my inbox, delete, delete, delete. What can I pour in next? TV shows or books? Stories of people more fucked up than me? That feels best, always. The lady who kept fucking her molester for 20 years, the guy who shot more heroin than humanly possible and lived to write it. Someone must have stepped on it, Joe. Trying on other people's stories makes me look good before putting fat feet to floorboard, checking the balance on my unemployment card with no intention of a job hunt and every intention of sneaking away. Clean panties hidden in my purse with a pint of Hennessy and a credit card. Yeah. <laughs> you were mad at me again, staring at the TV in the guest room as if the two of you were holding a conversation. Me and the TV can share you have an open relationship, one in which I can keep my kitchen boy from fucking and you and cuddling. It's horrible of me to say, I know. You are low maintenance, you tell me, but that's not true. It's still babysitting, I refuse to do. My lust so strong at times I roam supermarket aisles, grabbing things to fill my cart, planning meals like rendezvous, hoping the meat, bread, and cheese will stick us together the way it does my insides. Even when it's gone and the ice cream follows, or I tiptoe in at dawn, his handprints purple on my skin. I wake on empty, planning my next meal. You can't stand the heat. Even the trees look tired, the sad brown grass about to combust. The lowrider oldies are singing smoothly for the cool of dust. It's tempting to start the drink now, but with the sun this high, I'd be laid out with the dogs panting. A gin and tonic sweating the glass with lime reminds me of last night, how the boy was laughing me, how he grinds into me. My hips, a bowl of oatmeal, butter melting the middle, how he always finds a deeper spot. Then my phone rings and I need to go home, make up stories, explain the stone look in my eyes. Okay. Of bushes and wood. Here in the calm of redwoods and manzanita, woodpeckers replace jackhammers, but my technology follows me out of the city. My obsession with body parts in cyberspace. I'm sexting when a bird whistles and it's remarkably like a cat call. I look up expecting a man in a Ronnie commercial, the stuff of old pornos, before we went straight to the penetration shot. And I don't need the setup, the backstory, the moment of penetration is all I want. The first moment I feel you, stranger, brand new, never before having touched me inside. I'm wet and rushing, and all I want is to freeze this moment to press replay again and again, my fix, my injection. You plunge deeper, my eyes widen and glaze till I feel like an ocean, a fist, a kind word, a hurricane, a fluffy kitten, a slippery fish. Pull my hair, make me squeak, and we'll tell a story of bushes and hardwood. Thank you. 